Hi, can I have the emergency room? No, 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 don't put me on hold. I just want to tell you again that Jack's boy is married. Always was. He almost killed his wife. Dumped it like garbage. Stop. It was the truth, Brenda. It's like ice water. Shocks you when it hits. Makes your bones ache. But nobody ever died from it. You know, I finally really see you. So long, so many people tried to tell me there was something broken inside of you, and I would never listen. I used to try to protect you. When you were vicious, I would say that you were just angry. And when you were cruel, I would say that you didn't mean to be. But I was wrong. You do mean to be. You want to be. I'm not the one who left Jack's wife for dead. All I did was take a trip to Australia. Oh, yeah, and right. And some facts. Yeah, yeah, that's all you did, right, Sonny? Yeah. Why'd you do that? Why? So you could throw it in my face? If you ever really cared about me, you would have left that woman in the past where she belongs. The past isn't another country, Brenda. It's something you carry with you. And Jax's past just happened to bite him on the butt. That's the way it goes. Yeah, well... Then... Your husband is a dangerous man. You don't believe me? Ask Miranda. There is nothing that you can say to me that's going to make me feel any differently about you. Oh, of course not, because, you know, what he did to his wife was ugly and brutal, and it has no place in your reality. Because you're in love with a dream, Brenda. Some guy that Jack says he was, and you believed it, and you're going to go on believing it, even when the woman he almost killed is standing in front of you. Yeah, well, at least she's alive. It's more than I can say for Lily. I know what I did. I don't pretend that never happened. I don't say that I'm a, a nice man with a safe life. But I learned a lot that night, Brenda. I learned that safety is an illusion. If you, if you promise you're going to protect somebody, you're lying. Because there are no promises where I live. Jax lives there, too. And as long as you're with him, so do you. I understand that there are no promises for you, Sonny. You have no soul. <sighs> Jax does. I want to read something to you. These are the wedding vows that Jax wrote for me. And he didn't get to say them to me because of you. But when I came home, I read them, and I'll always have them in my heart. He wrote, How did I know so soon and so surely that my happiness in you will never fade? I can't say it was like waking up with the answer to a puzzle and not knowing where it came from. Just knowing. I never make promises as a rule. But now, every word between us, from morning till night, is a promise to me. I collect them in my head, and at the end of the day, I turn them over and I set them in place like bricks. I, I, get, I, I get the picture. He loves me. Oh, I'm convinced. Anybody can write all that, you know, it's either in love or real educated, but they're, you know, they're only words, Brendan. Even if, if Jack said them and I brought Miranda tomorrow instead of today or yesterday or the day before. Words don't mean anything next to her. You're wrong. Words mean something when they're promises. And when they're from the right person. I love Jack. He loves me. And nothing is going to come between us. 
not you. And definitely not Miranda. Get that she was his wife. He didn't divorce her probably because, you know, he figured she never showed her face in public again. I don't understand why you need me to doubt him. I won't. He thought she was dead. Oh? Why didn't he tell you about it? He tried. When? Well, the other night, and his parents came in and interrupted us. Oh, and you two have never been alone since? What about before, during your whole wonderful marriage, while you were being loyal and cheering him on, while he was backstabbing your best friend? He, didn't, he couldn't take five minutes to tell you he'd been married before? Since he loves you so much? Yeah, no, he couldn't, and I understand it. I understand that. I know what it feels like to be ashamed of something and not want to tell anyone about it, especially the person that you love the most. What are you ashamed of? I'm ashamed of you. I'm ashamed that I ever let myself love you. Because you just lied to me and manipulated me and kept things from me for my own good. I never married you knowing I was married to someone else. In the game of lies, that wins hands down. And you lose again. I don't lose anymore. You know, the last time I lost was when you left me standing in the rain and you ran out of my life and I knew you were never coming back again. And then Jax came and he picked me up and he made everything better. And then he made everything even better than that. You know what I realized between then and now? I didn't end up with a consolation prize. I got everything I ever wanted. Too bad there was strings attached. No, there was no strings attached. She, she would die me eventually. She died by violence. You had a right to know that. You a monster. What? I have a right to not tell me. It's not, it's not the same. It's exactly the same. Well, as long as you know that, then I got what I came for. He's no better than me, Brenda. You said so yourself. I'm ready to get out of my house. Get out. Jack is an open, honest, perfect man, and you aren't fit to shine his shoes. It's too late for that, Brenda. See, the thing about the truth is that once it's out, you can't make it go away. Sonny, I'll never, ever forget. 